OpenID Connect is an authentication layer on top of OAuth, too. But why can't we use OAuth for authentication? OAuth shows how an authorization server used third-party app login and user consent to issue access tokens to give other apps limited access to APIs. An access token is like a concert ticket. It gets you in the venue and assigns you a seat, but it doesn't verify your identity. You could give your ticket to someone else, and it would work for them, too. Access tokens are for APIs. They're opaque to the receiving app. They aren't suitable for authentication because the app can't use them to verify the user's identity. In fact, the token might be stolen or maliciously injected. This is called the confused deputy problem. The app doesn't know who the access token was issued for or where it came from. It just knows it can call an API with it. OIDC sets standards for authorization servers to get authentication info from the third-party login by issuing ID tokens, similarly to the access tokens defined in OAuth 2. ID tokens are fixed-format JSON web tokens that can be parsed and validated in the receiving app. The ID token contains information about the authentication event and the user's identity. OIDC also describes an authorization server endpoint called user info, which returns identity information. If authorization is like a concert ticket, authentication is like a passport. It verifies you are who you say you are. And with OIDC with OAuth 2, we can securely authenticate as well as authorize.